Good morning, Lieutenant. Good morning, sir. How you doing? I'm good, fine. So you're doing sick call before sick call even starts, huh? No, sir. I'm asking that on until 1230. You're just a hard working person. <laughs> this is an uncorrupted PA. She hasn't developed horns yet or teeth. I'll move over here and talk to my favorite nurse. Uh, of course, he's our only nurse. Hey, doctor. I'm going home in about four days. What do you think of that? They told me it couldn't be done. <laughs> and my replacement is a lieutenant colonel. What do you think of that? Why would you say such a terrible thing as that? Or sort of infer, square it away. Like this place has been going on six months. It should be a tight ship, as it the Navy said. Yeah. Yeah. You know, tight ship or type ship? Tight ship. Okay. What are you going to do first when you go home? Mm, if I was a smart ass, I'd say your wife. But... You <laughs> I'm probably gonna. I'm gonna probably have a nice meal with my uh, family and. I'm gonna say something sweet. Yeah, you know. Uh, I'll let your imagination <laughs> run wild. <laughs> yeah, I'll let your imagination run wild. But uh, I don't know. My wife is really looking forward to seeing me. I don't know why. She never did before. But uh, <laughs> absence makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> that's why there's so many divorces when guys come back from deployment. Anyway, it doesn't mean fonder for you. It can be fonder for. What would you else. tell? What would you tell people back in the states? Because I, I am going to show this to my family. They know I'm a smart ass too, so it's the commentary is just part of it. But uh, what would you tell people back in the states about this place that they, they ought to know? If you, because I'm going to show this and it might get passed around a little bit. What would, what would you say? Just off the cuff. Don't what think too hard. What you see on TV is not what is really going on in here. Uh, I think the media tends to, is, the media is biased, trying to say that what we're doing here is not necessarily why we're supposed to be here. I think the Iraqi people do want to share with you all, and we are doing a good thing here. So it's, it's only if Americans come and see what, how these people live and how lucky they are back home, how they appreciate what they have in the world. So CNN and Fox News don't quite have it right? Okay. I think, uh, I think we are doing something that's good here. I think I do believe why we're here. Uh, not just yeah. because I'm saying it, but I really do believe in the cause. Whether why we're here because of, you know, under the pretense of, of weapons of mass destruction, not. I really do believe that everybody should have a chance to Oh, well that's... We found those, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Saddam's dead, and we found those, and uh, Osama's dead. Sir Cowie's wounded. Uh, what else is going on? And uh, I just say, you know, oh, and the water system is fixed. <laughs> overall, I think you say, you know, I really believe in America. You know, thank you for what they have. They don't want to yeah, but that's one thing I've learned. Is, uh, we have it so good. I'm living where I live is like being in heaven. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. Take care. I will. Bye. Thanks a lot, Mike.